Welcome back. Today's video is a low buy update. I'm pretty excited for this. I'm on a low buy for the year for makeup products and fashion items because those are the things I tend to have a problem with, tend to overspend on. And yeah, so I'm keeping track of my purchases and my rules are that I could buy up to five makeup products a month and up to five fashion items a month. And so far for the year, I had not gotten to five each month. So I am still under on both categories, which is great news. It's not a budget, it's only about the number of items, but I am keeping track of my spending just for my own interest. And if you're interested in the makeup that I'm wearing, I did film this. It was a get ready with me talking about how I organized my project pans and shot my stash videos. And I also used one of the palettes that I bought this month. So I will link that in the cards and in the description box and let's get started. I definitely bought more for fashion items this month than I had in previous months. I ended up getting seven things, which is over the five limit, but I can roll over from other months. So because other months I only bought between three and five things, I'm still under. Let me see how many total. Yeah, I'm so far at 27 fashion items for the year. So still under a buy a few. I ended up getting a pair of earrings that I already talked about in a favorites video. I got a card holder because my card holder was like really old and stretched out. Hadn't bought one in a very long time, so not bad. I bought a blazer, a t-shirt. I did buy a dress and a pair of shoes that I actually kind of needed because I had to go to like a cocktail party type of thing and I literally had nothing to wear. I have not been to like a dressed up event since before the whole pandemic started. So I had nothing and I've done major clean outs of things that I didn't really like as much and wasn't wearing in the last two and a half years. So I literally had no cocktail dresses to even wear. So I ended up buying one from Macy's. I'll show you a picture of it. It's really cute. It's from Calvin Klein. I love it actually. It looks really nice. Um, it was a little bit expensive. It was $90, which is kind of more than I wanted to pay, but I didn't really like anything else. So it is what it is. Um, and then the most expensive thing that I bought that I already showed in a couple videos is the Coach Pillow Tabby Purse. I did get it on sale. It was $340, but full price it's like $500. So I am a handbag lover and I love that handbag. I'm really happy that I bought it. So I did buy seven things in June, over technically for the month, but for the year, I'm still doing okay. Now, makeup purchases, let me tell you about those because I'm excited. I did really well for makeup purchases this month. I bought three things. I only spent $30 for all of June on makeup. One thing that I bought was a mascara because if you saw my empties video, both of my mascaras dried up in June, and so I actually needed to go buy a mascara, and so I bought L'Oreal Voluminous, which <laughs> this has been my favorite mascara for like almost 20 years. I don't even know how long. I love this stuff. I'm wearing it today. It's now the only mascara in my entire collection because I only had two others and they dried out this last month, so... Totally fine with that. It's a drugstore, it's amazing. It's only, I think this is like $8 at Target, so no complaints there. Now, when I went to Target needing mascara, I came across this, which I've already talked about this in a couple videos. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette in Heart and Soul. And I saw Emily Noel raving about these palettes. They are only $5. And I showed this in my June palette recap video, which is something new that I'm doing, which I started at the beginning of June. Every time I use a palette, I write it down, take a picture of the look, and then at the end of each month, I plan on doing a video showing you the palettes and the looks. So I did that for June. If you didn't see it, I'll link it in the cards. It was a lot of fun, and it's a way for me to make sure I'm using my many eyeshadow palettes. And I also uploaded a makeup inventory recently, so. You can check that out, but I'm really excited that I'm doing that. So I did show looks with this palette in the June palette recap video, and I am impressed with this palette. It is fantastic. It's not just good for $5, it's actually good. And I talked about in that video that I was pretty disappointed with the e.l.f. palettes, those bite-sized ones that are $3. People were really hyping them up, and I thought that they were fine, but I didn't think that they were amazing. 
This is actually good and it's $5. I had several of the e.l.f. bite size that I decluttered all of them. I actually think the quality on this one wild palette is far superior to the e.l.f. Just my opinion, but I love the color story. Love the looks that I did. Only $5, like seriously, I love this. The only thing I don't like <laughs> is that once you close it, it is so difficult to open. So what I ended up, I broke several nails trying to open this palette. So what I ended up doing is I ended up prying it open with like, I think I used a spoon or a butter knife, I don't remember. And it snapped open, so now I'm just leaving it like this. So it's fine, it can sit in my drawer, but it's not gonna be fully closed because I don't wanna break a nail every time I open that palette, so yeah. And then I bought one other palette. That's the third item that I bought. This here, this is what I'm wearing today. Like I said, I filmed this makeup look. Check it out if you're interested. It's the, my only, only my first time using this palette. So first impression, which I never do first impressions on my channel, I'm actually like in love with this eye look. This is the Poison Apple Palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. They used to be called Alien Cosmetics, so this is one of their palettes that they did have when they were called Alien Cosmetics, so it does say that on here. It doesn't actually say, yeah, it doesn't say Unearthly Cosmetics. Um, they had a 50% off sale. I think they're still having it, I'm not sure. So this palette was only $17, and I think I paid like $5 for shipping. So really not bad. And wow, I've heard really good things about their formula, and just based on this look, like this sparkly shade, wow, that is so pretty. So I'm excited to do more looks with this. And I talked about in a video that I did called eyeshadow palettes I would buy if I didn't already have so many palettes, I did mention that I wanted to try Unearthly Cosmetics because I've heard a lot of people raving about their palettes. And so then when I saw that they had a sale like a week after I did that video and I was like, all right, for $17, I am buying this. And so far I think the quality is amazing. But again, I will, I wanna do more looks and then yeah, I could show those in that palette recap video that I wanna do. So overall, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with myself for makeup purchases for the month. I bought this $5 palette, which is amazing. I bought this on sale, super cheap, only like 20 something dollars, including shipping. $8 mascara, which I actually needed. I actually ran out of mascara, so. Did I need the eyeshadow? No, I did not. But hey, at least I didn't spend that much. And these are great quality so far from my experience with them, so. Actually, I'm pretty impressed with myself for June. Now, July, different story. We're gonna see what happens. Obviously, the month has only just begun. I have bought a palette already this month. I showed it on Instagram. I bought this. I'll just go ahead and show you because it's right here. I bought the Blend Bunny Dollhouse palette now. Obviously, this was purchased in July, so this update is only for June. I do want to film a look with this. Let me know if you want to see some looks with this. I haven't even used this yet. This just came in the mail yesterday. So have not used it. That's part of July anyway. The issue that I'm having already for this month on the low buy is that there's a ton of palettes coming out and just makeup in general that I want to buy. Pat McGrath announced a new palette. I don't care if people are saying it looks like her other palettes, it looks beautiful and I wanna buy it. Also, Nomad Cosmetics is coming out with their Provence palette. I've already seen reviews on it. It looks lovely and I've never tried the brand and I really wanna buy that too. Rare Beauty came out with lipsticks and I'd love to try one of those. I did just mention in my inventory video that I haven't bought a lipstick all year. I haven't bought any lipstick I can't even remember the last time I bought a lipstick. Maybe sometime last fall. I don't even know. Um, I did get two lipsticks in PR from Merit Beauty earlier this year, but that's it. Those are the only new lipsticks that came into my life this year. So I don't know. But the other thing I've wanted to do actually, so the whole Bite Beauty thing, Bite Beauty has been closing. Um, but they're still gonna have their lip lab. And I've always wanted to go to their lip lab and create like my perfect shade that I just want to have. I think that would be so fun. Um, 
So part of me is like, uh, why buy a lipstick when I could go to the Bite Lab at some point and create like my perfect lipstick, especially if I'm trying not to buy a lot of lipsticks. I'm not sure. If you guys have been to a Bite Lip Lab, let me know. I am curious if you thought it was like a fun process and if your color came out the way that you wanted it to. I would also worry that it'd be like, oh yeah, this is how I want the color to be. And then it like won't be that color. I don't know. Just the thought that I have. Um, and there's just a lot of other stuff coming out. Yeah, also Blend Bunny is releasing another palette too. I haven't even tried this one and I already wanna buy their next palette. Ah, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm... June was such a success for the makeup low buy. I mean, I bought more fashion items, but some of the stuff I actually like needed for the cocktail party thing. So I don't even feel that terrible about it, but I did so well with makeup purchases. I only bought three things. I didn't spend very much money, but July, the wish list is long. So <laughs> we will see how that goes. I'm going to try to stay within my limits. Oh, the other thing that's tempting me that I can't decide what to do with is if you saw my last empties video, I finished my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And now I've been debating buying the similar product from Auric or repurchasing the Charlotte Tilbury. Cause right now I don't have any product like that in my collection. I mean, it's fine, I'm getting by. It's not like I absolutely need it, but I don't have any other like liquidy highlighters to mix in with foundation, which I love doing. So I'm trying to decide I'm leaning towards trying the Auric just to try something new, but a few of you guys told me that you actually prefer the Charlotte Tilbury one over the Auric one, and the Auric is more expensive because I would have to pay for shipping, whereas the Flawless Filter I can buy at Sephora. I'm pretty sure they have it in store, or I can buy it online and get free shipping. So I would be paying more for the Auric anyway. I don't know. I haven't decided. These are just the things going through my head, but I think one of the most important things to me that has helped me so much on my low buy this year and last year on my low buy is not making impulse purchases. Now this was kind of an impulse purchase, but I had seen Emily Noel talk about these for months and I knew that I was interested in trying them. So when I saw it, I was like, okay, great, I'll buy it. So it wasn't like a total impulse purchase. Um, but I've just noticed if I kind of wait, think about it, that really does help me. So that's what I'm doing. Like I didn't just run out and repurchase the Charlotte Tilbury or the Oric product the second that I finished the other one. I'm kind of just kind of thinking about it. So yeah, avoiding impulse purchases. Number one tip I have for low buys and no buys. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you are on a low buy or a no buy, let us know how it is going. Like I said, I filmed this makeup look. I will link it in the cards and in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.